Daily Gospel Reading and Reflection Tuesday of the Second Week in Ordinary Time From the Gospel According to Mark, Chapter 2 Verse 23 to 28 As he was passing through a field of grain on the Sabbath, his disciples began to make a path while picking the heads of grain. At this the Pharisees said to him, Look, why are they doing what is unlawful on the Sabbath? He said to them, Have you never read what David did when he was in need, and he and his companions were hungry? How he went into the house of God when Abiathar was high priest, and ate the bread of offering that only the priests could lawfully eat, and shared it with his companions. Then he said to them, The Sabbath was made for men, not man for the Sabbath. That is why the Son of Man is Lord even of the Sabbath. Gospel Reflection Those like the Pharisees, Christians who put their faith, their religiosity, their Christianity, in laws, I must do this, I must do that. They are Christians out of habit, but in fact, they do not know why they do it. And where is Jesus? A law is valid if it comes from Jesus. What then is the rule for being a Christian with Christ? And what is the sign that someone is in fact a Christian with Christ? It is simple. Whatever leads you to Jesus is valid. And only what comes from Jesus is valid. Jesus is the center, as he himself says it. Does this bring you to Jesus? Go ahead. Does this commandment, this attitude come from Jesus? Go ahead. But if it doesn't lead you to Jesus, and if it doesn't come from Jesus, then it's a bit dangerous, if you can't worship Jesus. Something is missing. The rule is to follow what comes from Jesus and to do what leads to Jesus. The sign is adoration of Jesus, prayer and adoration before Jesus. May the Lord make us realize that He alone is Lord, the only Lord. And may He also give us the grace to love Him, to follow Him, to go the way He has taught us. Today's Prayer In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Heavenly Father, guide us in our journey of faith, that we may not become like the Pharisees, blindly following laws without understanding the essence of our Christian calling. Let our faith not be mere habit, but a conscious choice to center our lives on Jesus. Teach us to discern what aligns with his teachings and what draws us closer to him. May our actions and attitudes be rooted in the love and commandments of Jesus, bringing us into a deeper relationship with him. Lord, instill in us the importance of worship prayer and adoration as signs of our genuine Christian commitment. Grant us the grace to recognize Jesus as the sole Lord and to follow the path. He has illuminated for us Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.